Let's have a practical example of how to pivot and unpivot in Power BI and in Microsoft Excel. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. In my Udemy q and I've had this question from Amal. Can we convert from one type of pivoted formatting to another? So you can see we've got the date going down, we've got these departments or other things going across with a total, and here is what we want at the end. We want the name going across, we want these departments going across, at the moment the name is going down and the departments are going across, and we still want the dates going down. Yes, you can do that, you can do that in either Excel or Power BI. Now in Excel, what you do is go to Data, Get Data, from other sources, from table stroke range. If it's in another spreadsheet, then you can do that by going to from file, from Excel workbook. So I'll do from other sources and I'll do from table stroke range. So it says, where is the data for your table? Here it is. It's not actually a table yet, but it will be converted. And I'm going to check my table has headers and click OK. This then opens the Power Query Editor, which has this information. I'm going to do exactly the same thing now in Power BI, because once we get to this Power Query Editor stage, everything else is the same. There are a few menu items perhaps in different places, but nothing else changed from that. So I'll go to Home, Get Data, Excel Workbook. I'll find the spreadsheet, click on Open, and then select which sheet or which table and click Transform Data. And from there, I'm in the Power Query Editor. And just to emphasize, these two Power Query Editors in Excel and in Power BI are basically the same. Let's just have a look at both of them on screen at the same time. And you can see we've got the same sort of interface. We have got queries on the left-hand side. We have got Home, Transform, Add, Column and View menus. And you can see we've got similar menus, albeit some things in a different place. For example, New Queries on the left hand side in Power BI, but on the right hand side in Excel. Apart from that, we have the same functionality. So I'm going to pick one of them. And the first thing I need is a normal table. So with date and ABC and total going down and the name going down as well. So that is called unpivoting. Pivoting is when you have something in a column going into various rows. Unpivoting is when we do the other way around. Unpivoting results in two columns. So I'm going to select A to total, and I do that by clicking on A, then holding down Shift and clicking on total, and then go into Transform, Unpivot Columns, Unpivot columns. So they're going to change the columns that I have selected into two columns, one containing the header and the other containing the value. So here you can see the result. The header is here in attribute and the value is here in value. So that's fine. What now? Now I need to pivot it. So let's go back to our original spreadsheet. You can see that we've just got date going down and we've got consolidated ABC going across. What I'm going to do instead is have date going across. And the reason for that is in the Power Query editor, I can't pivot with two columns going across. I can only pivot by one column going across. So let's go back into the Power Query editor. I'm going to select date and I'm going to go to transform pivot column and you saw that it said tables with nested columns are not supported. Next, I have to select where the values column is. Well, it's in the column called value. So click OK. And now I've got dates going across and everything else going down. So how do we get it into the final version? How do we get it so that this looks like this? So at the moment, date is going across name and attribute is going down. Well, we just transpose the table. So this will change name going down to be name going across. 
if I undo that by going to the applied steps and clicking on X, this will change attribute going down to going across. The only thing that it's not done is given us the dates. There is no date column here. So because the dates are in the header, I need to remove them from the header. So I'll go to transform and click on use first row as headers, but I want the other way around. Use headers as first row. So now we've got that. If I now click on transpose, we now have the dates here, 25th of August, 26th of August going down. And we have got all of these headers that we wanted going across. Now I could go use first row as headers, but then we'd have several columns called Amol and several called Chandu, for example. So what happens if we wanted both these rows to be in the header? Well, we have to do this by combining column one and column two together, for example. So if I transform this and merge the columns together, so I'll merge together with a separator of, for instance, a space and click OK. And now if I transpose and use first row as headers, and I'll change this first column from name attribute to date. Now we can see we have got AML total, AML A, AML B, AML C, and so on. And you can do some sorting if you wanted before transposing the table, if you wanted, for example, Chandu to come first or consolidate to come first. So having done all of this, then I'll now go to file, close and apply. And this will then add it into my Power BI desktop. And here we can see my sheet with all of the columns that I previously have created. And in Excel, I will do a similar thing. So let's just highlight this table. Let's go to data, get data from other sources from table stroke range. And I will unpivot these columns. I will pivot the date using value in the values column. Take the dates out of the header, merge these two columns together. And then transpose, use the first row as headers, and then go into file, close and load, and this will then load it into a new sheet. So in this video, we've had a look at how we can unpivot and pivot again, and also how to transpose and promote and unpromote rows into the headers. Now, if you've got any similar questions, why not put them in the comments to this video? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please click on like, and why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.